and word late tonight that two suspects are in FBI custody after a truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. Whether the discovery of those explosives had anything to do with other events of the day is unclear, but the FBI has two suspects in hand, said the truck uh, load of explosives, enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. But they arrested the two suspects and they're questioning him as we speak. We see John Miller, I gather, has just heard of an incident in New Jersey. Uh, the New York City Police Department has a report that the FBI is responding to New Jersey because a truck reportedly uh, loaded with explosives has been stopped by authorities on the road there and um, the men with that truck have been detained. Uh, members of the Joint Terrorist Task Force, according to the New York police officials, are responding to question those people. Um, I want to underline that uh, all the phones uh, to police headquarters and to the FBI uh, from here seem to be disabled. So uh, sorting through these reports to get specifics, um, to sort them out, can sometimes take time. But this is information that is in the possession of the police department, comes from the FBI, and uh, we don't know the exact significance of it. Okay, thanks very much, John. Well, I guess it's also clear to people now that ABC News is going to stay on the air for an indefinite, indefinite period of time of the people we ask. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diana Williams with Bill Ritter. We interrupt ABC's coverage right now because we have late-breaking information about an incident at the George Washington They're Bridge. Signed into a Commissioner check Bernard Kerrigan of NYPD of talking emergency. now. Let's listen in. Uh, thereby closing down 14th Street South in southern Manhattan. Um, this will include or relate to all pedestrian and vehicle air traffic except essential emergency vehicles and personnel shall be prohibited in the following areas Manhattan south of 14th Street and that will be from East River to the Hudson River um, the only vehicles that will be allowed in those areas will be emergency vehicles uh, police fire vehicles National Guard and anything authorized by the police department. There will be some vehicles in the morning that will have to get down there for deliveries of certain things that we're familiar with already. They will be allowed in and residents, that's it. Um, anyone uh, trying to violate the order uh, will be uh, arrested and uh, could be found guilty of a class B misdemeanor. Uh, I urge uh, people to follow uh, the order uh, there's no need to come into southern Manhattan tomorrow, uh, and as a result of the order, um, the best thing to do is stay away. Can you talk, can you talk about this incident that came up on Channel 2 about the, some people coming across the, the uh, GW Bridge explosives? Can you comment on that at all? Well, I haven't seen the report, and uh, I, I haven't heard about anybody coming across the bridge with explosives. Okay. Have you heard anything about the uh, on the Well, I've heard the, basically the same thing you have. We haven't been able to confirm it yet. Um, they weren't near the bridge, to my understanding, uh, if it in fact did happen. We're trying to confirm it through our detective bureau. One more question on this. South of 14th Street, that includes all bridges and tunnels crossing South of 14th Street. Those are closed down for today. Any movement south of 14th Street. And you have not heard about any explosives on the George Washington Bridge or no. in the Lincoln Tunnel? No. Commissioner, Thank you. Here, it was in Jersey near uh, the bridge. Is that your understanding? Do you know the jurisdiction? Well, it, what we heard, what we, listen, what we heard was Port Authority police stopped a van that might have had explosives in it. Uh, we haven't been able to confirm it yet. We're working on it. Uh, when we hear something, we'll let you know. That's on the Jersey side, right? It's on the Jersey side. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And we'll, we'll be back. So, so we don't have to go through okay. this. How long? How long? I'm hopeful. Okay, what, what you have just seen there is Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick not confirming any reports at this point. Reports that we have heard that there was a truck loaded with possibly explosives uh, near the vicinity of the George Washington Bridge and he said that those reports have not been confirmed the Police they Department are checking on it right now. You heard John Miller uh, tell Peter Jennings that he too had heard this from Port Authority sources. Again, com Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick not confirming that anything had happened or any threat to the George Washington mm -hmm. Bridge. We'll keep, of course keep you posted. We're going to well, thank you, and again, our apologies to our viewers about five minutes ago, but we do have uh, an established connection now with CNN's Deborah Fabric. The reports we're getting now, two or three men arrested on the New Jersey Parkway. Deborah, can you hear me now? 
Yes, I can. Uh, that is the information that I am getting from two sources, that there was a van either on the New Jersey Turnpike or the Garden State Parkway, and that it was near the George Washington Bridge. There were two or three men who were in the van. The van was pulled over. Uh, it is not clear why the van was pulled over, but when it was, uh, law enforcers found uh, uh, tons of explosives inside of the van. That is right now all I'm hearing, um, but again, two to three people uh, in custody, and we are trying to get more information on that right now. Deborah, I don't mean to put you on the spot here. Do you know where on the Jersey Turnpike this was? How far from New York City? Um, we do not know that. We are looking into that. There is one report that it was on the New Jersey Turnpike. There is another report uh, that it was uh, very close to the bridge, if not on the bridge. So again, these details are all emerging, and we're trying to uh, piece them together. Uh, but that's what we've got so far. Two to three people uh, in custody right now uh, found with a van filled with explosives. All right, well understood. Um, the other report that we wanted to ask you about uh, earlier, we had heard that an FBI spokesperson said that there was a report on the George Washington Bridge, which is another facility which you folks are responsible for policing, uh, a report that there had been a van uh, stopped there that had explosives. Have uh, you, uh, the Port Authority Police down here, heard anything about that? I have received no reports on that particular incident, and there's nothing that has been brought to our attention to that effect.